while I was in dental school, I seemed to attract patients with complicated uh, concerns. And when I was looking at programs, I sort of looked her all around the country and I just felt that this program sort of provided the most in terms of variety of patients that we see. A lot of people actually ask and ask many times what exactly an oral medicine specialist is. And I think the best answer is it's a lot of things. Uh, for those of us on the inside, it's really a satisfying area to work in because there aren't many people who are able to do what we can do. Working in a large hospital group like Atrium allows you to see just a wider scope of cases. Because we're a Trauma One Center, uh, many of the patients that come in are patients that you really wouldn't see in a lot of other smaller programs. You get the chance to develop a comfort in working with patients that you may never see, and so you get to learn what boundaries you're comfortable with, what boundaries you're able to push, and what boundaries you need to respect. Because of our attachment to Atrium Health, we have a really great opportunity to do a broad range of things. Often, a program is, is restricted by what it has access to, and we have access to everything here because this is one of the biggest hospital systems in the country. It's a very collaborative environment um, and a cooperative environment, especially it's easiest to speak with the, the cohort that I've kind of come up with, but everybody is just very eager to help out. Uh, I never felt uncomfortable at kind of asking people. We all have different strengths and weaknesses, and I think that's one of the things that I enjoy the most about this program was just being able to develop my own strengths and being able to call on people who I know are in, better at managing things that just aren't quite in my wheelhouse. Dr. Nepanius is a really amazing director. Uh, he's done all kinds of things. He's practiced here and in Canada, uh, which gives him a little bit different uh, perspective on, on different ways to practice. He's been in private practice. He's run a GPR. He's run an oral medicine department. So he's really got uh, a broad range of experiences and can really guide residents based on their interests toward a uh, profession that will most appeal to them. People who succeed best here are those who are willing to work as a member of a team. Compared to some of the smaller programs, just the scope of patients that you get really helps build your confidence as a practitioner. It really appealed to me as somebody who enjoys engaging my mind and really trying to solve people's problems in different ways. Just my experiences here really challenged me in ways that I never really expected to be challenged. 